You have time for a little due diligence? What would you like to know? Are you married? No. Boyfriend? I'm a little too busy for a serious relationship now. So you're open for a casual relationship? No, I don't have time for that either. We shouldn't have gone. It was my brother's party. Just one more thing for my dad to criticize about me. Tonight is poker night. Mandy, once you're finished, I put a tray in the kitchen for Sister Frances. I'd like you to take it up to her. Yes, yeah, she'll do. When I was downstairs cleaning today, I found these. They wouldn't happen to be yours, would they? No, that'd be against the rules. <laughs> OK. Well, then I guess I'll just throw them into the trash. And Mandy, remember to keep the door closed. Sister Frances doesn't like the breeze. You know, I think it's a little funny that the same thing happened to me when I donated blood. Frank, you're not doing your homework here. You didn't check my file through. There has been a huge zombie outbreak, and it is a complete nightmare out there. Sources speculate that a recent explosion at one of the undead manors has leaked out radioactivity very quickly, and that also reanimates the dead at an alarming rate. We are waiting for a response from Governor England. There is no new line of defense in place. We recommend that you lock your doors, your windows, and stay inside, and do not confront the undead. Because if you do, and they get their claws into you, that's it. Look, I know how hard it is for you today. I know how much you miss your mom and how close you guys were. I've seen you struggling the last few months, dealing with her death, fighting with your siblings, trying to find your place in this world. She was the only one who understood you. And just like that, she's gone. Sometimes when we experience a traumatic event, our bodies find a way of framing the event, sort of like a freeze frame of that moment in time where your brain just can't let go of it. But we try and we try as hard as we can to get past it, but it always stays with us. She's a freaking bum, man. What the hell is she gonna know? Just because I've been forced to live on the streets does not mean I'm stupid, young man. And in terms of what they are, they are certainly not from this planet. Aliens told you. And now that you've seen them in the open, their hunting patterns have evolved. I fear that no matter what, they're gonna stretch out into the city, and then, in weeks, the rest of the world. I've been trying to warn everybody, but no one will listen to a bum. Look, you were born in America. You both went to the same high school. I don't see there's a problem. You have to trust me. I'm a lawyer. I love both of my girls. Um, it's been hard on Kimmy because it's um, she's at that age where she takes everything really personal. Would you be happier if she had a different job? <laughs> yeah. Um, of course. Of course. But she's over 18. She has her life. And I have mine. Are you happy? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy when they're happy. I know who you are. I called the police and they're gonna be here in a minute.
you looking for a safe ride share? I'm Julia Altamari, CEO of a brand new ride sharing app created by women for women. The drivers and the passengers are all women. So if you're alone or with your girlfriends, try us out. It's called W Ride. Download the app today.